Hello, welcome back. Uh, today we'll be discussing about logarithm. I'll give you a short introduction. What is this logarithm about? And give you a few examples to solve. Okay. Now, what is this logarithm? Why do we really use it? Why can't we solve questions without logarithm? People have these doubts. And the most, uh, the hardest section people found is that logarithm. But it is not hard. It is simple. The, the easiest way to get 10 marks before going to the exam hall is by studying this logarithm uh, lesson. Okay, you can just only remember the method, go to the exam hall, just take the book, observe the values and then get the marks. Understand? Okay. Now, say there is a question to solve. You have to find the values of, we'll say, uh, you have to find out what is 3.14 multiplied by 20.6 now say they ask you to multiply this and get you get get them the answer now if you go to solve these questions using multiplication it is going to take you a very long time because you have to multiply by each of these numbers okay say you have some other number instead of this zero it is really going to take you a larger time or say you have four or five numbers together definitely it is going to take a very large time okay Therefore, that is the reason why we use logarithm. Now, before starting, before I teach you what is this logarithm, I will give you a short introduction what we are doing with this logarithm. Okay. The logarithm is this. Now, using logarithm, we are going to write this 3.14 as 10 to the power a number. 10 to the power a number. When you find out the answer, you should get 3.14. Okay. 10 to the power some number the number you are going to find out using the logarithmic book multiplied by 20.6 now even 20.6 what we are going to do is losing using logarithmic table you are going to find what is the value as we write 10 to the power something 10 to the power something should give you what 20.6 now we have wrote both these numbers as 10 to the powers. Now also you know that when you have multiplication, when the bases are same, what happens to the powers? They get added. Now you have to add this and this and write as the common base. Common base is 10. When you add both, you get a simple answer. Now see here, you had multiplication. But once we came to this part, the multiplication turned into addition so multiplication is easier or addition is easier addition is easy okay so you have got an answer 10 to the power something but in order to get the real answer you have to again change this part to the real value now you from this value you change it into 10 to the power and also now you have got an answer as 10 to the power but we can't express the answer as 10 to the power, right? You have to get the real value. Therefore, we use anti-logarithm and change it into the real value format. Okay, was that part clear? Okay, okay. Now, let us move on to an example. Okay, uh, we'll solve the same example. That is, we'll solve uh, x is equal to 3.14 multiplied by 20.6. What is the first step? First step is that I use logarithm on both sides. Now, you also have learned that log of to the base 10. You can write it as LG. Therefore, I'm going to use LG here. We are going to use the base 10 in all of these logarithmic uh, lesson. Understand? Throughout the lesson, we are going to use the base 10. Therefore, I can simply write LG. So, log of x is equal to also you know i'm used i'm going to use the common log that is log of 3.14 multiplied by 20.6 now if i have to separate and write multiplication will become addition you have already studied that therefore lg log of x is equal to log of 3.14 plus log of 20.6 Okay, now can you observe that the multiplication has turned into addition. That is how, that is where our uh, calculation becomes easier. So now what you have to do is that, now you have to find the log of this value and log of this value. Therefore, let me write, you have to find out log of 
how do you find out this is the way very easy okay take the logarithmic book observe the first two numbers that is 31 and 4 so go to row number 31 31 and check where is column 4 so 31 and 4 what is the value you have 4969 so you write 4969 this is not over okay now once you write 4969 you have to do a small thing that is now you have to check after how many numbers have you placed the decimal after one number if it is after one number you have to subtract one from one and write it in, in front that means you have the decimal after one number so one minus one is equal to zero so you write zero point zero point this value plus log of 20.6 how do you find the log value of 20.6 you have to find the row 20 and column number 6 so row 20 and column number 6 is 3139 okay so you write 3139 okay is this over no you have to place a number in front how do you place it check where the decimal is the decimal is after two numbers therefore you have to place one point is that clear okay now it's just addition you have to add both 0 0.4969 and when you add you might get uh, it is equal to 1.8108 so log of x is equal to this value now the answer is in log form okay now I told you to get the actual answer you have to find the anti log now we don't need log of x no. you need what is x therefore I have to write x is equal to when I take log to the other side I have anti log of 1.8108 now observe how to find this anti log that is easy take the number after the decimal what is this number you have 8108 now it is just the opposite observe now take the log table and check where do you have 8108 observe these values 8108 8108 do you have 8108 no so what is the number that is bit lesser than that 81 uh, will take 8102 therefore you can take the 64th row and column number 6 64 and column number 6 okay now if you take 8102 the value given here is 8108 so what is the difference between them the difference is equal to 6 so now find out where is this 6 difference here where is it here 6 difference is under which column it is under 9 so you have to write that 9 here okay now is this over no there is a small yeah small number to be written what is that number now observe here when you had the decimal after two numbers you placed it off uh, saying one point when you had the decimal after one number you placed it zero point now you have one point that means after how many numbers you have to place the decimal it is just the opposite going from here to here sorry here to here okay so you have one point so you have to place the decimal after two numbers so therefore the real value of these numbers when you multiply is 64.69 was that clear we'll solve one more question we'll take y is equal to say 3.75 to the power 2 into 10.5 okay now is multiplying easier no it is hard right first you have to multiply 3.75 by 3.75 and then again you have to multiply it by 10.5 it's a long procedure that therefore that is the reason why we use log in order to simplify it quicker and it is easier okay what is the first step i told you okay first step is that you use log on both sides i can use lg lg of log of y is equal to i can use the common log okay and inside the same bracket i'll write all these numbers so here i have 3.75 all things squared multiplied by 10.5 okay next what i'm going to do is that yeah i'm going to separate this so multiplication becomes addition so log of 
3.75 all things squared plus log of 10.5 okay now earlier in our early examples we did not have this power now we have a power you have already studied that the theorem behind this what can you do to this power you can bring these two in front that means two into the log part of this number two you have multiplication mark 2 into log of the same number 3.75 plus log of 10.5 was that clear okay now what should you do okay now first you have to find 2 into what is the log of 3.75 now you know you need the logarithmic table 3.75 means you check for the 37th row and 5th column. 37th row and 5th column. What is the number you have? 5740. So you write 5740. Is that all? No. You have to check after how many numbers uh, is the decimal placed? After one number. Therefore, you have to place, you have to write 0. Point. If it is after one number, it is 0. Point. Okay. And then you have plus log of 10.5. 10.5 means you go to the 10th row and 5th column. 10th row, 5th column. What is that number? 0, 2, 1, 2. 0, 2, 1, 2. Sorry, sorry, no decimal. 0, 2, 1, 2. Now you should place the decimal. How to place it? Check after how many numbers is the decimal placed. After two numbers, therefore you have to write one point this value. Now what should you do? You have a small multiplication here. Even though there is a small multiplication, it is much easier than multiplying this. Okay. Therefore, if you multiply, the answer you get is uh, 1.148 plus the same thing, 1.0212. Now, when you add both, you should get log of y is equal to 2.1692 okay now is this all no now we you have the log value of y now what is the actual value you need you need y now how do you find y yes you have to take the anti log of 2.1692 now how do you find the anti log okay take the number after the decimal you have 1692 take the logarithm book and check where is 1692 1692 you don't have 1692 but let us take the lesser value than 1692 that is under row number 14 and column number 7 so 14 and 7 first let us write that down okay uh, let me write here and the log of uh, 2.1692 so 1692 is under column row 14 column 7 right yes now this is not over you had one one six seven three but the actual value is 1692 now find the difference between the value you took and the value the actual value so what is the difference 73 83 93 so it is 19 so now through the same row find where is this 19 or take a number which is equal to 19 so you there is no 19 therefore i'll consider 18 18 is under which column it is under sixth column therefore you just have to write six that's all was that clear you find this value if you don't have that value you take a lesser value so i took 1673 you write the row number and the column number you write it first now since you did not take the same number find the difference so here they say mean difference so the difference was 19 go through on the same row go to the value of 19 you don't have 19 take somewhat similar to 19 okay so you take 18 that is under column number 6 so you place 6 okay now is that all no you have some more to do what is that yes like going from uh, this step right yes go moving like going from this step to this is the reverse so you have two point two point means in our actual answer you should place the decimal after how many numbers after three numbers 
So the value you get is y is equal to 147.6. Okay, uh, this is just a revision. So in grade 11, there's a small advanced thing to be done about uh, bar numbers. So subscribe our channel, we'll be updating it soon. Thank you for watching.